Today we're going to be making a scratch video on how you can animate a name or in fact any word. This is designed more as a um, second session in the How to Use Scratch Junior um, series, but I'm going to do that in the context of um, animating a name so that you can see the uses of some of the different blocks um, in the process. In the description under the video, I have a link to notes um, on where this fits with the digital technology areas of the New Zealand technology curriculum. So I'll be going through step by step um, how to make each of these animations. Uh, and I'm going to start with a little example first. We'll start by tapping the plus to create a new project. And when it opens, um, we're not going to use Scratch, so we're going to tap and hold on him and press the X to get rid of him. Now, I could use um, a background for this, but because um, it's a name, it gets a bit distracting if you have anything other than a fairly plain background, so I'm just going to leave it white today. So I'm going to add my characters, and I'm, these are going to be letters of the alphabet. Um, as you can see, I've prepared some earlier, which I'll add in a minute, but I'll show you how I'm creating those. So if I go to the paintbrush tool up on the top right, I now have my paintbrush tools. Now the top tool, um, the orange squiggly line on the left, hand side at the top is the line tool um, and then we have further down we have the um, circle around the thickness of the line that I'm choosing to use. Okay. Down the bottom we have our colour choices so um, I'm going to choose a slightly thicker line to start with and then I'm going to choose um, a purple colour and then I'm going to make my shape and I'm going to do it all in one go and then I'm going to fill it with paint. So I'm just going to go around and make sure I join that up and then I'm going to click on the paint pot over on the right hand side at the bottom and I'm going to tap inside the shape and that fills it up and then I'm going to press the tick. I could, of course, do all sorts of other things in order to um, make that um, a bit fancier. I move it up to where I want it. It's not quite the size I want, so I'm going to click in the purple tools menu, the pinky purple colour. Um, and the third one along is the shrink tool, so I'm going to bring that down. And I'm going to press it once to shrink it down to the size that I want. Um, how many times you have to press that will depend on um, the size of the drawing that you made in the first place. So then I'm just going to throw that away. Uh, I'm going to go to my yellow menu and get the flag as my start because I want all of the animations for these letters to start um, when the flag is pressed. Now this one's going to be a simple grow and shrink. So I'm going back the purpley pink menu so I'm going to start with the grow button which is the second one along uh, and then the shrink button which is the third one and I'm going to click those together so that's just going to make it shrink and grow once um, but I want it to keep doing that so I'm going to use um, a repeat block and those are in the orange menu and the last one there is the repeat and I can then drag this other code inside there and snap that into the flag. So at the moment it's um, going to grow and shrink and it's going to do that four times. So if I push the flag that's what that looks like. Now I'm actually going to change that to 10 times You'll need to have a play around with how many repeats you need for various things um, because I wanted to time them so they were all sort of finishing around about the same time. Um, and from my trial and error, I've come up with doing that 10 times. 
And so that's the letter J done. Now I'm just I've just skipped ahead now and I've already placed all of the other letters um, just to save a bit of time. Um, as you can see, I've put the A in and I haven't resized it. So once I've got that letter in, I tap in the left hand menu, I tap letter A and I'm going to then use that resize block and I'm going to just tap that and resize it to the size I want. And then I throw away that particular block. Now my A, I'm going to have it jumping up and down. So I'm going to go back to the blue menu and right just about to the end there is the, is the jump button. And I'm going to also use a repeat block again here and put that around it because I want it to do this a whole lot of times but I then I, um, I want it to jump up and down but I want it to do that five times okay I'm also going to click the home button here so up by the flag for the letter A I'm going to tap the blue circle which sets the home position of this. Um, and you can do this with any of them where you're not sure where it's going to end up at the end of the animation. You can set um, a home place for it. Um, and then in the blue menu, the last block there is a home block. And so it will always return to home. Let's see what that looks like so far. Now I have two A's in my name, so I'm just going to copy the code onto the second A. So if I take this code by the flag and drag it on top of the second A, that code has now got that same code on it. And they'll both, when I push the flag, they'll both now jump up and down. Um, the next letter we're going to look at is the N, and I've already placed the flags ahead of time on all of these, just to save a bit of time. Uh, this one we're going to make turn in a circle. So we're going to use a blue menu, and we're going to use the circle tool. doesn't really matter which way round the turn block is. So this is the, I'm using the turn right block. And if I press on that number, I'm going to make the number 12 because with experimentation, I've discovered that that makes it go completely round in one circle. Um, I'm going to also use the repeat block again. And this time make it do um, four complete circles. Now, let's just have a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so that's fine, but I actually want it to go a bit faster than that. So if we have a look at the um, third orange um, button along, it's got a little person. I'm going to pop that in, and there's a little drop down, and it has three speeds. So it has just its normal speed, um, a bit faster, and quite a bit faster. So I'm going to tap on the third one there, they're quite a bit faster. And let's just have a look at that now. So there you go, we've speeded it up. Um, I'm not going to animate my hyphen today. I could, of course. Uh, I'm going to move on to the letter M. For the letter M, I'm going to do a show and hide, which is in the purple menu. and I'm going to start off with show button. I'm going to start off with the hide button and then the show. I need to end with the show so that the letter is still visible at the end of the animation. I'm going to go to the orange menu again 
and again I'm going to put a repeat block around there. My trial and error shown that three times is a good number to be doing this. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay. Now, when I was doing some trial and error and playing around with this, I found that if I put a little delay between the show and hide, it was a little better. So in that orange menu, again, the first button there, the first code block is a little clock, which I'm going to put in between the two animations. And instead of 10, I'm going to tap on that number and make it 2. So it's just going to have a little 2 second delay between um, showing and hiding. So let's see what that looks like again. Okay, so you can have a play around and see what um, speed um, you want to have this and what um, delay you have. Um, I'm going to speed it up slightly, just like I did in the last one. So I'm going to click in the little speed block. This time I'm only going to go for the centre one, a medium speed, and let's look at that. Okay, and now I'm going to click the flag into that. So that that one's ready to go, and we'll play with the others. I've already done the A, so I'm going to move on to the letter R now. In this one, I'm going to start off with it going left and right. So I'm going to get my left block and my right block. And I'm going to do the same as I've done with a few of the others and put a little time delay of two seconds in between the two. And I'm also going to use that repeat. And just make sure I've got this extra block in. And I'm going to set that, uh, leave that as four, because that works quite well when I trialed it. And I'm going to put the flag in. And that, so it's going to go backwards and forwards. And I've done the turn right as the last one, so that it ends up facing in the correct direction at the end. So the next one I'm going to look at is the letter I. And I'm going to do some turns on this one. So it's going to go back to the blue menu. And I'm going to do it turning one way and then turning the other way. Um, I'm going to make those two, two turns. So they're not going to go around in a full circle. They're just going to turn partially backwards and forwards like this sort of a little rocking motion um, and if I go to the orange menu again and grab my repeat block uh, and I'm going to change that to a six and pop in the flag and the last one is my E so in the E I'm actually going to do two animations. So the first one I'm going to do is a grow and shrink. So you remember the grow and shrink is in the purple menu. And I'm going to start off with it growing and then shrinking. Um, I'm going to change the, the amount that it grows and shrinks to five. So it's a bit more obvious. But you need to have both those numbers the same if you want the number to um, if you want the letter to return to its normal size at the end. As with the others, I'm going to put in a repeat, um, a repeat block, and I'm also going to use the little timer clock to have a little gap between the rocking, and again set that at two. Right, so that's that one, and this is what it looks like. So it's growing and shrinking. Okay, but I'm also going to have it doing something else at the same time. I'm going to have it growing and shrinking and turning. 
Now, in order to do that, I get a second flag block so that it will do this at the same time as the other. Go to the blue, and I'm going to get my turn button. And if you remember, I said it was 12 if I wanted to do a full turn. Um, I'm going to get my repeat block so that I can make it um, do four complete turns. And I'm going to speed it up. So I'm going to make it, if I click on that drop down, I'm going to make it a fast animation. So let's have a look at that. I'll have to push the green flag. You'll see them all moving. I have a look at, watch the red one to see what it's doing. Okay, so again, let's have a look at that to see the whole animation. Okay, so it runs through and they should all end up back at the, their starting positions. Do have an experiment with um, how long each animation is. Um, these are only ideas. You can um, have lots and lots of other ways that you can make these um, letters move um, and different combinations of things I've showed you. With students, um, it's often a good idea just to let them have a play, have their letters, have a little play and see what they can come up with. And they could usually come up with some really amazing little animations um, of their own without needing too much um, instruction. A good way to use an animation like this is to um, put it into uh, a website. So you could have the website title or the um, name of the person who's made the website. And in order to do this, the best way is to click on the full screen button, which is up near the house button, the home button up in the top left. So you click on that or go into full screen. Um, and if I click the flag, that will start the animation going. Um, but I can also do a screen recording at the same time. So if I pull down the corner, there's a screen record button, which is in the second row, third icon along the little circle with a dot on it. Um, I can't use this while I'm also um, making this recording, but normally you would press on that. Um, and that would start the screen recording. And then you can press your uh, green flag to start the animation. And then when you finished, you would go back and stop the screen recording. That would make a little video that you can then share any way that you normally share video. That's all for today.